Hello, my friends. I've got a real treat for you today. It's your buddy Keith here again, live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. And we've got an insanely rare Paul Reed Smith single cut electric guitar to share with you guys today. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, come join the circle of friends, and you're going to see a lot of free guitar videos that uh, show you some of the rarest guitars from all around the world that we get each and every day to uh, show you up close and in person, all right? So what's this guitar all about? This is the 1957-2008 Paul Reed Smith Single Cut SE245. They only made 250 of these. Each one is signed by Paul Reed Smith and numbered. So this is 101, obviously. They all come with a 10 top. Just show you a little build card there. All right. And uh, they all have these clear lampshade knobs, which look the bollocks, as they say here in England. But the real secret sauce, the real thing that makes this guitar very expensive are the humbuckers. All right. And Paul Reed Smith was very secretive about them. Just showing you these beautiful outline bird abalone inlays. So these pickups are built from the same machine that built the 50s uh, Fender and Gibson pickups. Same machine that did the, they have the same wire. It's literally the exact same machine, and it, they have they built the same magnets as well. So that's the only thing that he would uh, reveal. You should read the review from Music Radar when these came out. Just type in PRS uh, 1957-2008. You'll see the Music Radar review and they talk about it. But th essentially what they said is these pickups cost a couple grand to make just from the expense that went into acquiring the vintage equipment and then all the research and development in remanufacturing these these path pickups so he said you know the the guitar the pickups are a grand each and you know you get the bonus of getting a a a, a very inexpensive guitar he's like yeah you know the, the guitar is free but you have to pay for the pickups and uh the uh the neck but anyway, this this was big money when it was new, so it wasn't not quite an accurate statement. But I get what he's saying. He's saying really the big money is in these pickups. They also refuse to sell them as uh, retrofits, so you can't just order a pair of these pickups. They only put them in this guitar. There's 250 of them. So very legendary, very uh, very sought after from the collectors, guys. Some other special things. This is a rosewood neck, but it's very dark. And it's a very special grade of Asian rosewood. I can't remember the name. It's it, Again, go to Music Radar. You'll see all the press. They mention everything. But uh, it's a Peruvian mahogany neck with an Asian rosewood, dark rosewood fretboard. And it's beautiful. Got all the case candy here. Got your bumper sticker, your warranty card that hasn't been filled out. If you want to buy this guitar, it is for sale on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com, hosted by our good buddies at Reverb.com. So you can see it there. There's the 10 top. A little 10 in the corner, handwritten, and a serial number, which you can see all matches right here first two digits are the year and it's got the vintage style tuners so it's it's pretty much prs's take on a 50s i guess a 57 gibson les paul obviously with the prs design you got awesome access to the lower frets because you see how nice that cutaway is it's got a weight relieved body as well according to the music radar review and i like that you've got two back covers in case you want to preserve the uh the signature wow 
as far as I know, I think, I think ours is the only one available in Europe. It might be the only one available online. But if you guys want to come record with it, no problem. Just hit us up at the studio. Me and James will uh, love to work on your project. And this is just a really good example of some of the tools you will have at your disposal, along with some incredible amps. This is just a fraction of what we've got for guitar amps. We've got two rooms full of them. But yeah, guys, as far as condition goes on this guitar, I don't really see any, I don't see any chips anywhere. I see a little bit of light, uh, just kind of scuff marks in the, in the lacquer at a certain angle, but obviously it, it goes away depending on the angle. But if you're directly above in light, it's full disclosure there, you can see it just in that region, nowhere else. Just right in there, right in the buckle area. Very minor stuff, guys. The top is uh, insane. And I love how they have the, the quilt top, the sides exposed and unpainted. It's just beautiful. The pickups have a little bit of tarnishing to them. They could use a polish. But this is where Paul Reed Smith makes their money, is on these beautiful tops. So there's a little ding in the lacquer right there. Very minor, guys. But we like to be thorough in these videos. If you've never heard of the 1957-2008, let, let me know. Let me know what you think of it. Read the music, music Radar review and let me know what you think of that. They have some sound clips, too, so you can hear the difference. They compared it to a 2001 single cut, and they said it was like two completely different guitars made by two completely different companies. So that that really speaks volumes for this guitar and, and how highly they think of it and its quality of construction and sound. All right, guys? Cool. Well, we got a lot of videos to do. I'm going to sign off now. If you want to chat more, hit me up on Facebook. It's at Essex Recording Studios. We're on Twitter, at Essex Recording, and on Instagram, at Essex Recording Studios. And if you want to chat with James, our producer and engineer, who's going to be doing a lot of uh, unboxing videos and, and demos of some of the outboard gear and the microphones, he's at Mixed by JCT on all of that stuff. All right, guys? Cool. Well, enjoy your evening. I'm going to go watch some Netflix. We just finished uh, the last season of House of Cards. That was a bit of a letdown, as to be expected, since they kicked off Kevin Spacey. But uh, what are we going to watch tonight? I think we're going to watch... <sighs> We've got something planned. I can't remember. There's too many shows. I think, I think we're catching up on our American Horror Story tonight. All right? Cool. I'll see you all later. Stay tuned. On the channel, more guitar videos coming right your way. Later, guys.